And welcome back, gamers. Another episode of House. We're here. We're looking at files. We're looking at salt and pink salt. And we're going to figure out what is wrong with the blue girl group. Pink salt sounds very technical. Use a centrifuge to separate the salt components of the sample for testing. Aren't they already separated in grains of salt? That's what I always thought. But what do I know? I'm just a teacher. Excellent! Hold that speed! The sample has been separated successfully. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I uh, used the Bunsen burner to heat this sample for testing. Yeah, heat that shit up. There is no perfect temperature, which makes no sense. The sample has been successfully heated. Good job. I always say work smart, not hard, but you barely did either. Oh, and now we get to pull stuff out. We are experts at separating shit until I throw it back into the plate. You don't go there. Come here, caterpillars. Egg! Damn it. Ah, I got you. Oh, damn it! I blame my mouse for that one. I'm trying to hurry. Damn it, I'm gonna have to wait for that. Is that like the only one I got left? No, I got one of those peanuts too. Bam! An A minus? <laughs> I deserved an A plus, damn it. Hmm. The regular salt particles have a cubic structure and are indeed regular table salt, sodium chloride. No shit! And the pink salt particles? What are they? They have a rhombodrial structure. Rhombohedral structure. There's something other than table salt. Well, no shit, because they have that added coloring chemical agent in them, whatever you want to call it. Even I know that. <laughs> I hold in my hands the secret identity of the pink salt that Taub and 13 collected from that restaurant. And the Oscar goes to, er, I mean, the pink salt is sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate, that's used to cure meat. Nitrates can cause methemoglobinemia. Well, okay, but so what? Sodium nitrate is poisonous, but it's easily burnt away during cooking. But what if someone didn't cook it? They could have just sprinkled it over Lana's food like it was regular salt. If eaten directly and in large amounts, it could be really dangerous. Bingo! Tob, you're so wise. You could be a rabbi. But oh darn, rabbis don't cheat on their wives, do they? <laughs> Damn, house! <laughs> but nobody could have put sodium nitrate in Lana's food. It's pink. She would have seen it right away. Ah, but if you buy undyed sodium nitrate, the kind that isn't pink, it can pass for regular salt. Oh, now we have a plot afoot. Oh, good God. Come on, Foreman. If God was really, if, if God really was good, would he let one of Lana's co-workers poison her with this stuff? I bet it's the happy woman. Tob, go talk to Lana's pet chef, Russell. See if that menacing weenus knows anything about this. Well, Dr. Tob, this is starting to become a regular occurrence. To what do I owe this pleasure? We found out that Lana has sodium nitrate in her system. So? Let's ask about table salt. Does Lana put a lot of salt in her food? Yeah, but what does that matter? Obviously nothing in this questioning. Any ideas that she got sodium nitrate in her system? Maybe she accidentally ate it. I don't know. Uh-huh. Sure. Maybe even sodium nitrate was sprinkled into her lunch. Russell, were you the one who got her lunch on the day that she got sick? Uh-oh. Well, yeah, but it couldn't have been me. Uh-huh. Oh, shit! 
I messed up. Uh, so he asked if somebody could uh, look. We also took that plan, I think. Um, no, I watched it like a hawk. Servers. Has anyone else brought Lana her food over the past few weeks? No, just me. That means you're fucked, buddy. How could you be sure that you didn't put the sodium nitrate in her food? Sodium nitrate is dyed pink. Lana would notice. So would I, for that matter. We just said we can make it, uh, oh yeah, undyed. Could you have gotten access to undyed sodium nitrate? Like he's going to tell her, or tell him that he did that. No, but Claire did have access to it. As chef de cuisine, do you prepare all the desserts in the restaurant personally? No, but I supervise them all. I don't see where this question is going. How many times do you wash your hands while preparing food? How does man- What? I understand you taking over chef de cuisine until Lana gets out of the hospital. What's that like? Are you kidding? It's fun running a restaurant. Uh, permanent promotion. Are you having so much fun as chef de cuisine that you wished it wasn't temporary? Oh god no. I'd gladly go back to being her employee once she gets out of the hospital. As I said before, all I want for her is to be happy. This guy doesn't make sense. Now, if you're finished, I'm very busy, so you'll need to leave. I just... I don't even know. Oh, so we have to move these papers. Aha! What's this? Excuse me, is this your receipt? No, it's Claire's. That's her signature. See? One bag of undyed sodium nitrate. Interesting, eh, Dr. Taub? Okay, where is it? That's what I've been trying to tell you. It's in my pay. <laughs> yes! That is what I like to see. My guitar house. Where is my guitar? Um, I'm going to say in a guitar case. Look, I know that you broke into my house and took it. Your cleavage is moving. <laughs> I should be able to read these lines better than I am. Your cleavage is moving, but I don't understand the words that are coming out. Then you won't mind if I search your office. Mind? Of course not. Look, I'll help you. What? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but I'll find out. Look, did it ever occur to you that maybe I didn't take your guitar? Perhaps you misplaced it in your house? My house? You were in my house. You took it. I don't know what your game is. Yahtzee? <laughs> I don't know where you put my guitar, but I'm going to find it. I have a set of skills. I will find it, and I will kill you. I bet you will. Where do you think Claire stashed the sodium nitrate? Could be anywhere, but someone like Claire is too meticulous to just leave it lying around. So are they in Claire's house now? How did they get access to Claire's house? Okay. And let's also look for pink dye, receipts, paperwork, anything that connects her to Lana's poisoning. This just seems like it's getting way out of hand. Shouldn't we involve the police? I, I mean, I'm kind of like creeped out by this now. A contract. So she's just got random sausage laying here? Because you can't... You have to refrigerate that. Oh, and she's got a steak laying in the... I don't even know. Don't even know, gamers. Wow. Compare the two signatures and click on the differences fail. Um... The heart... curly thing. I guess I have to click over here. That. So somebody's forging her signature. Because they're terrible at this. The last one will be the hardest one to find.
Claire. I thought it would be here. It's not. What am I missing, gamers? Oh. They're not connected here. This is not letting me click it. I've got to click on one more of these. I know it's right there. It's just not letting me click on it. And this timer down here is filling up. Yeah, I'm not very happy about this right now. Come on, game! I know it's fucking right there! This is, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna just click everywhere. I know damn well it's right there. It won't let me skip. I know good fucking where it's right there, you motherfucker! This, this is stupid. I love great games that works perfectly. Don't you gamers? I mean, this timer is about to run out. But yeah, that's the other difference. You all can clearly see that right there. But it's gonna run out of time and I'm gonna fail this. Fucking bullshit. I can't believe it's not letting me click there. The game can't be broken! I have no idea what to do. Oh, it'll let me skip it now. Oh. <laughs> well, if she's stashing me any sodium nitrate, she's damn good at hiding it. I've got nothing, you? I found plenty. That receipt we found at the restaurant, I don't think it belongs to Claire. What makes you say that? The signature is completely different than the signature on this letter and this contract, both of which have little hearts over the eyes. You're right, someone forged her signature on that receipt. Yeah, I give you one guess who that someone is. Talb did say it was awfully convenient that the receipt just fell at his feet as he finished talking to Russell. And Russell does have the most to gain from Lana's illness. Time to talk to the new chef de cuisine of Transatlantique. Again, shouldn't it be time to call the cops? Dr. Hadley, right? And I met you too. I don't remember your name, but I'd be happy to show you our new Pricks Fix menu. Dr. Foreman, recently our colleague Dr. Todd was here. He found a receipt signed by Claire Kustra. How did that receipt get on Claire's workstation? I'm going to guess she put it there. What is this all about? She put it there. Claire Kustra put the receipt on her workstation. That's what you're telling us. It's her receipt. Got her signature on it, right? Okay, thank you for your time. One more thing. Can you sign a form for us? It's hospital policy. Oh, Jesus Christ. More of this. Compare the signatures by dragging Claire's signature over Russell's and matching three similar letters. Compare, um... Okay. So is this what I have to do? Really? Um...
Put the ace in, yep. I don't think this would be enough to go in court, though. It's now obvious that Russell Forge Claire's signature. Is it three letters? Throws that off? So if Claire signed that receipt, why does the handwriting match your handwriting on this form? What, they did it right there in front of him? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? No, the handwriting is a perfect match, see? It looks like you forged this receipt, supposedly signed by Claire, in order to frame her for buying sodium nitrate, with which you poison Lana. What? I hope you folks have a good lawyer, because you don't just go around accusing people like that. You're not cops, you're doctors. No shit, Russell, thank you. I have been saying that this whole let's play, but no, they just keep doing this shit. Just calm down, Russell. You better get out of here right now. You guys have no right. I'm under a lot of pressure. My boss is very sick, okay? <gasps> so Claire bought the sodium nitrate, huh? Oh, so he's just gonna leave it sitting there. Okay, okay, what do you want? I bought the sodium nitrate, all right? Are you happy? You see the way Lana is, don't you? Come on. You guys work for a horrible boss. I met that guy. Wouldn't it be better off without him? Actually, it wouldn't. And you're right. We're not cops, but we understand that they have a very easy to dial phone number. Okay. <laughs> He's just gonna cry. Turns out that Lana's smurfy disposition is in fact a result of sodium nitrate poisoning. So Russell did put it in her food. Russell! Lord have mercy. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He wouldn't shut up about it once Starsky and Butch were finished with him. Here's what happened. It's a no-brainer, really. Russo poisoned the french fries she ate that day with undyed sodium nitrate. Since Lana's an alcoholic, she doesn't have enough salt in her blood. So she is drinking again. Uh, so she habitually adds it to her food. As a result, she consumed a truckload of sodium nitrate. So wait, if you drink a lot, you have to put salt on your food? I didn't know that. Which was the white powder Claire saw at Lana's workstation. That's why Russell tried to cover up his tracks by claiming it was cocaine. And then he cleaned up her work area so she wouldn't find anything. Exactly. After gulping down enough sodium nitrate to kill a bull elephant, the high levels of methoglobulin in Lana's blood surged through her body. This would be awesome if it was animated, causing her blood to go from being red to that nice Milky Way brown color. And giving her that the blue man group looks in the guy looks <laughs> giving her that blue man group look that guys find so attractive. And since Lana had Wilson's disease with G6PD deficiency, the methylene blue didn't cure her methoglobemia. It put her into hemolactic crisis instead. Put Lana on a plasma exchange and start her on penicillamine to help with excess copper in her system. She should start improving and rejoining the land of the non-blue after a few days. Hey, they get their restaurant. Blue potatoes, blue cheese dressing, blueberry sorbet. I sense a theme at work here. We'll have to give it the house. He made good on his word. This is one swank meal. She's looking hot in that dress. I might have to switch from cutty. And finally, a restaurant where the chef isn't afraid to use a decent amount of salt. I'm a horrible person, aren't I? I'm going to stab you in the face with this onion. Uh, where, what do you mean, Lana? Come on, Claire, cut the crap. One of my employees tried. To, one of my employees tried to poison me. I'm the worst boss ever. I wouldn't say that. You're just. You can be a bit brusque. 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 Let's go with brusque. I'm not saying that what Russell did was right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he should be in jail right now. That's attempted murder. Yeah, he thinks he's such a gourmet. I wonder how he likes the slop they serve in prison. Exactly, but perhaps you could uh, maybe be a bit nicer to your uh, employees, you know, treat them like human beings? You're right, from now on I'll be nicer to you, to whoever the hell is taking Russell's place, to everyone. Look at all! Oh, it's like the end of a TV show where they all laugh and it pauses it. <laughs> wow, that's great, Lana. Yeah, yeah, terrific. Now, can you get you off your ass and give me the damn cayenne pepper? Uh, I mean, uh, Claire, dear, won't you please pass the cayenne pepper? Thanks ever so much. How was that? Maybe a little too much, but I'd say it's a start to a recipe for success. Oh, my God. Only got a B on that one. What? <laughs> oh, gamers. 
I don't even know on this one. I just wanted to see this picture of Cuddy. That excites me. I feel like I need to log off and go look at porn now. I wonder if there's, like, house porn. I know they reenact a lot of shows with parody porn, so maybe there's a house one. I don't know. But there is only one way to find out. Are we ready to begin? No, I'm not ready to begin. What is our next case? Should we get excited? Skull and Bones. A macho college kid loses feeling in his arms during a fraternity hazing. Ooh. That sounds exciting. We've already knocked off two. We have two to three to go. As always, I hope you enjoyed this full episode of House MD. As always, this is SKS saying I hope you liked the video. And I will see you next time, Gamer Nation. Good night.